challenges of poverty, inequality, climate crisis, a formidable alliance emerges. Brazil, Germany, Spain, and South Africa unite in a groundbreaking proposal aimed at reshaping the world's tax landscape. The vision, a fairer system that harnesses the burgeoning wealth of the world's billionaires to generate a staggering 250 billion pounds annually. This sum, they argue, is a potent antidote needed to combat the pressing issues exacerbated that's the G20. Right now, this gentleman right here, the Indian PM, is the president of the G20. Next year, it's going to be the president of South Africa and then the president of Brazil. So that's the line for the G20 in the next three years. Beaten by the pandemic, environmental degradation, and geopolitical turmoil. The bold suggestion put forth by these economic powerhouses calls for a minimum 2% tax on the soaring fortunes of the elite, a move anticipated to bridge the chasm of inequality and infuse much-needed resources into public coffers. The proposed levy would target the wealth of the world's 3,000 wealthiest individuals, imposing a minimum tax rate of 2% on their rapidly growing wealth. This initiative signifies a growing international consensus on the need for a fairer tax structure. Proponent of the bill, argue that this wealth tax would not only generate much-needed public funds, but also reduce wealth inequality. They estimate the annual revenue could cover the estimated cost of damages incurred from extreme weather events in the past. Further technical details of the plan are being developed by rich economist Daniel Zuckman, with suggestions expected to continue the G20 summit in June. Notably, France has voiced support for the wealth tax, and even the U.S., while not actively endorsing it, has refrained from opposing the proposal. This initiative comes at a critical juncture. Recent research by Oxfam reveals that the pandemic and subsequent asset price surge have resulted in billionaires amassing a staggering 34% increase in wealth by the end of 2023 compared to 2020. This stands in stark contrast to the World Bank's findings that the pandemic has stalled progress in poverty reduction efforts. The proposed wealth tax on the super-rich complements existing efforts towards a more equitable global tax system following the recent agreement on minimum corporate tax rate of 15% for multinationals and ongoing negotiations regarding the taxation of the digital economy. This proposal by leading economies underscores a growing international commitment to address wealth disparity and tackle pressing global issues. If successful, it could pave the way for a more sustainable and equitable future. Wealth inequality is on the rise, with the richest 1% accumulating a massive share of newly created wealth. With low tax rates, compound interest, and generational transfers, their wealth keeps growing. Hence, the numerous calls for the rich to be taxed more. It's conceivable that billionaires facing the prospect of taxation might resist parting with their wealth, given their considerable influence and resources. The opposition can manifest a significant pushback against such a tax. Nonetheless, does increasing taxes on wealthy represent a more enduring solution to addressing wealth inequality? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like. The day you get your oh, there you go, people. Sorry about that. Kind of sideways. Uh, this is Niels Han Dynasty. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. Buy yourself some crystallized osmium, platinum, and silver. All three very, very decent prospects for the future. Uh, it was the new African channel. Don't want to plagiarize. Uh, my thoughts on that are, as, as always, you know, we allow things to happen to where people make money. Then we were like, oh my God, they made too much money. Let's tax them. Instead of changing the policies that allowed them to make too much money. It's an evil, evil scheme. And the poor people... All they see is, oh, tax the rich. So they go for it. But, you know, this is like the 700,000 millionth time we've gone for tax the rich and it hasn't worked yet. Wow. I wonder if we're ever going to get smart. Probably not. But, hey, it doesn't matter. Every time they say tax the rich, you want to become rich because you're going to pay more taxes as a poor person. Because what's going to happen is they're going to tax 2% of the rich and the rich are going to raise their prices 5%. So we actually pay the tax and give them an extra 3% profit. Wow, we're stupid. But anyhow, one day we'll quit believing politicians so that we'll vote for them because they kind of sort of lie to us anyhow. 
and we'll actually in, ourselves get involved at a local level in politics and we will actually become smart enough to become the change we want to see rather than expecting that if we pay someone else our tax dollar money, they will make the change that we want to see regardless of their own personal greed and wealth. How's that worked for us? Ooh, not too well. All right. Well, if you don't like poor children, uneducated children, uh, high inflation, a uh, government that doesn't listen to you, Vote yourself in for a local office and become the government and make the change you want to see. I know it's a new concept. It's revolutionary. It's a grassroots concept. It's called you be the change you want to see. If you want to see change in America, fuck, be stupid. Run for president because, hey, that's what all poor people do. Or you can be smart, get together with a whole bunch of other poor people and say, hey, this one of us run for office. Since the poor people are the dominant number of people in this nation, we should be able to, if we decide to be smart for once, we should be able to vote people in that'll actually make change rather than take the convenience of watching the boob tube and whatever it tells us to vote. But hey, these are personal choices and decisions. Life's full of them. Choose wisely.